Hi guys, this time I'm going to show you how to connect an Echo Dot to your Wi-Fi, okay? So basically we're just going to start an Echo Dot, we're going to give it power, I just opened this one, okay? So it's basically unboxing it and starting it, and what you're going to do is you need to download download the, the um, Amazon, Amazon uh, Alexa application in your phone. After you do that, you go to settings. And from there, what you're going to be doing is just wait for the settings and you're going to go all the way down to set up a new device. So when you're there, you Hello. just go to Echo Dot, Amazon Echo Dot is ready for and you continue just after you select your language. In my case, it's English, so it's okay because I don't have the option of Spanish here with the, with the application. Okay. Um, so now we're there. Now when you get to this screen, you're going to go to settings, and in settings, you're going to change your Wi-Fi, okay? So your Wi-Fi, you're going to select the Amazon uh, Wi-Fi that is actually provided by the Echo Dot. You've connected to Echo Dot. So Dots. now we're connected. Go ahead and finish the setup in your Alexa app. So after you get to that connection, then, then you go back to your application, and from there, now it's telling you connected to Echo Dot, continue. So now we continue, okay, and you select the Wi-Fi that you want to use. In this case, I'm just going to use any of, the, of these Wi-Fi. All of these Wi-Fi are mine anyway. So I'm just going to grab one of these. So I just grab this one here, and it's going to, it's preparing your Echo Dot to, for the final setup, okay. So this is one of the ways of doing it. This is how you do it when you're using your Wi-Fi, okay? So after you finish with this, then it's gonna be all done. And you have to select if you have speakers connected to your Echo Dot, either through cable or, take a look. It says here, you got the options of Bluetooth, audio cable, or no speakers. In this case, we can just put no speakers, or we can put audio cable, whatever. Makes no difference. When you actually add a, a speaker through cable is going to add it automatically. On the Bluetooth, that's when you have to change it. You have to change the setting. But anyway, we're going to go no speakers. So we're going no speakers. So it's already done. Okay. So this one is already done. Still shows that it's programming there, but it's already done. So the orange light is gone. So this one is finished. And like I was telling you, because you already have it connected to your Wi-Fi, there's a real simple way of connecting it to your phone. You set up your uh, hotspot in your phone with the same name as the Wi-Fi that you have at home and with the same password. That's the easiest way of connecting it to your cell phone without using another device or without having a hard time to do it with the Alexa application because sometimes it'll be all messed up and it won't let you do it. But anyway, now this one is set up. Alexa, are you connected to the internet? Yes, I am connected to the internet. So you see, this Alexa here, this Echo Dot is already connected to my Wi-Fi, okay? So if I wanted to change this, basically what I need to do is, I need to go to my settings, okay? And if I wanted to change it to connect it to my phone when I travel, what I do is basically I go to network and internet on my phone, okay? Mobile network and hotspot tethering. But we're not, we're not gonna do hotspot tethering because we, don't, we wanna use it wireless, okay? So basically, we go to, um, it says hotspot and tethering. So it's actually going to be just the hotspot, not the tethering part, because we want to use the wireless. So you go to your Wi-Fi here, okay, portable Wi-Fi, setup Wi-Fi. So when you go to your setup Wi-Fi, you're going to change, you're going to change the name to your, to your Wi-Fi, to the same name that you have at home. The same name that your Wi-Fi has, has at home, the same password, you want to put that name there. This is the easiest way to connect um, an Echo Dot or some Alexa device to your hotspot in your phone, okay? That's for you guys to know. The other way of doing it, okay, the other way of doing it is, um, I can reset this and do it again, but anyway, this is one, one of the ways of doing it. And I'm gonna finish this video with this, but I'm gonna make another video right now after this one, because if I make a single video, it's gonna be too long. But anyway, that's one of the ways of doing it. And like I was telling you, as you can see, she's already working.
Alexa, um, how is the weather? Right now in Los Angeles, it's 59 degrees with clear skies. You see? Throughout the night, you can expect more of the same with a low of 55 degrees. So she's doing great right now. She's connected, okay? So we don't have to worry about this one not working. This one is already working. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna reset this Alexa, and then we're gonna connect it using a hotspot straight from my phone without connecting to my Wi-Fi at home. But like I said, you do it at home, you wanna use it in trouble with it, use your hotspot, just change the name to your hotspot to the same name and password that you have at home, and you're set. Thank you guys, take care.